hospitali ya taifa ya Mwembili tuko tunahudumia watoto wenye shida ya saratani na hapa tuna watoto kuanzia mwaka sifuri mpaka kuendelea umri wa utoto na kuishia tuna mpaka miaka 18 wana shida ya saratani sasa watoto tulionao ambao ni shida sana tuna watoto wa saratani ya damu toka nimeanza kuugua mwezi wa 12 hadi leo hii nimeongezea damu mara 14. kutoka muda huo hadi sasa naonyesha ni jinsi gani mgonjwa saratani ya damu anahitaji damu kwa kiasi kikubwa ili kuendelea kuishi. That is why we sensitize people we tell them they should come over and donate their blood because blood is precious and it is required every now and then by the children and by the adults. The reason why people should donate blood is it's the easiest way for any normal person to save a life, sometimes three lives with one donation because the donation can be divided into blood, platelets and sometimes other blood products. And the issue is that in hospitals all over the world there are people who have diseases and who have problems that are curable if the blood is available but unfortunately in most hospitals um certainly in this part of the world there are very chronic and very acute shortages of blood and so people are dying who don't need to die so you could walk in and take half an hour out of your day and save lives donating blood is one of the easiest yet most valuable contribution a humanitarian can make irrelevant of your caste your religion your status your color your boundaries or your borders in the end nothing matters therefore if health permits please come and donate blood blood is given free of charge to the families that need it and the patients that need it and who are those patients it's little children with cancer it's little children with blood problems it's mamas who are delivering babies and are getting into trouble and it's people all over the city who are in road traffic accidents or who have had surgery and need blood so these are people in dire straits and your blood can save their life and make them better and let them lead long and happy lives. So really, it costs you nothing but a half an hour of your time and you can keep a person alive. Why not do it? People will ask what is the benefit to the donor? So I would like to say that the donor is benefited the most because if you donate blood four times a year it stimulates your bone marrow and you create more cells for oxygen carrying capacity and you improve your health but the greatest benefit which a donor is going to give in a holistic sense that you are doing god's work and god will bless all these donors with happiness peace and harmony somewhere in their lives or at their homes and what could be a greater gift to a fellow human being than the gift of life itself kwa hiyo naomba watanzania wote wajitokeze kwa wingi kuchangia damu ili kuweza kuokoa maisha ya wengi na watoto wengi na wagonjwa wengi ambao wanaugua ugonjwa huu kwa maana uhitaji ni mkubwa zaidi kuliko uchangiaji kwa watu wa masike kuchangia damu ili kuokoa maisha ya watu wenye ugonjwa kama wangu The blood donation procedure is safe and held in a sterile environment If you're fit and healthy There is absolutely no risk to you the donor in giving blood up to 4 times each year. It only takes half an hour of your time and you can return to your daily routine with ease. <laughs>